So the trade deadline is coming up, and we have one more show that we'll have on Monday afternoon, morning, somewhere around there. So if you're watching this uh, before that, then that's when this month, this show airs. Spike Kool-Aid airs Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And we got one more show before the trade deadline. I don't think the Lions are going to make a move before then, but I think that they have to do something. Brad is the type of GM who's trying to submit his GOAT status in Detroit. He has to realize we got to do something. With that being the case, we're going to look at the teams that you need to watch if you want a specific player. Now, first of all, the game against the Packers, as you heard Dan Campbell say in the press conference, he likes this game. Shout out to him. I love road games. I love them. I won't be there because it's going to be raining and I'll do the rain. But I love road games, the hostility, the fact Dan Campbell said it's just you. So big game. Lions can go from first to fifth if they lose this game. So they got to win because they will drop out of the division lead. They will uh, give up the first seed and go all the way down to the fifth with one loss. So this is very important. But there's been guys that we've been talking about. Hendrickson, uh, even Crosby, Garrett, Zadarius Smith, threw in a Trayvon Walker in there, Aziz Ojolari, those guys. Even the Giants think they're still in this thing. I don't know how, but they might. So let's look at teams that you may need to watch for for this game this last week before the trade deadline. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why the NFL did what they did so we can have the excitement, the nail-biting suspense of who's going to get traded and is your team going to – the team, is is, is it going to hang around? Do they think they can win? Ah, right? So let's just assume that the playoff teams are not going to make a move. We have not talked about anybody from any of these playoff teams. Uh, Gregory Rousseau has come up a lot, but they're not going to move him. The Atlanta Falcons, they're not going to be uh, sellers. They're going to be buyers. They need all the help they can get. The Houston Texans, they're still in this thing. The Cardinals, the Packers, the Broncos, a few names. Uh, Baron Brownie, I think that's his name for the Broncos. His name has come up. Ravens, Vikings, Chargers. This is a team to watch here. This is a team to watch. Khalil Mack could be movable, but this is the team. So out of all the playoff teams, this is the one that I think people could probably watch that we might have a chance to get somebody from. Now, the on-the-bubble team, Bears, nope, Colts. They, the Bears, they might be buyers. They were buyers at the trade deadline last year. It would, I would be so mad if they get another defensive lineman. I really would be mad. But as far as the Lions being sellers and who could they buy from, or buyers, and who could they buy from, I would keep an eye on the Cincinnati Bengals. This is the team right here that with a 3-6 and six record, they go down to a 15% possibility to make the playoffs. Now, the Bengals think they can run a table. They're going to think like that until they don't. This year might be a rude awakening. They did not make the playoffs last year, though. They did not. The Steelers were the seventh seed or something like that. The Bengals did not make it. So I think after this year, I really believe this team going to be sellers. I just don't. They they, they have to know because you got to pay Jamar Chase. You got to get stuff together. I don't think they're going to. They I think they're going to start looking forward to the next year and beyond. So I would keep an eye on them. Buccaneers, not so much. The Jets, I don't think they move anybody. The 49ers, I've been hearing some stuff, but I don't think anybody from them. The Dolphins, no. The Seahawks, no. The Browns. The Browns, Miles Garrett, look at this. This is ridiculous. Right now, their playoff chances, and they got the nerve to think they're still in this. And they are. I mean, the Lions were 1-6. and six. They went 8-2 and two and almost made the playoffs. But this is why this probability is so low is because at this point, you need other teams. The Lions were here. We were exactly here two years ago. And this was our chances. You start to rely on other teams at this point. So I think the Browns are the biggest team. If Zadarius Smith, Trey Hendrickson, those guys are healthy scratches, they are getting traded. So keep an eye. Watch the Bengals. Watch the Browns. Watch who plays. If they don't play and they have nothing wrong with them, they're getting traded. If they do play, that doesn't mean they won't. Raiders, pipe dream. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. He's already said it. It would take a wing and a prayer and the greatest American hero to, to trade for Max Crosby. Cowboys, they need help, so they're going to be buyers, if anything. The Jacksonville Jaguars, keep an eye. They're done. Look at their chances. Their chances are actually better than the Browns at this point. 3%, 5%. I would keep an eye on Trayvon Walker. I think it's an off chance that we could get a Trayvon Walker. It depends. The Jags are a dumb franchise. They pay Trevor Lawrence. Don't forget, this is the same team that took – 
Trayvon over Hutch. And thank you, Jags. We appreciate it. Throw us another bone. Trade us Trayvon. We'll take him. Patriots. I've heard another name outside of Uche. I don't think, I don't know who, I can't remember who it is. The Giants, keep an eye on Aziz Ojalari, who could also be somebody. Giants said, quote, it would take a, they would have to be blown away to trade this guy, but also he is on an expiring contract. So they want him to be part of the future, but they're going to have to maybe extend Kayvon Thibodeau, but I think that he can be traded. We will see. The Tennessee Titans. We got Harold Landry. I think he's our biggest one. Arden Key, we talked about him earlier. He could be an option as well. Somebody even threw Tyler Boyd on there. And the Carolina Panthers. I heard Derek Derek Brown's name. I don't think we need him or they move him. But Jadavian Clowney can be a guy that we look at from over there. At this point, don't forget, the Lions are down Makai Wingo. And from what Dan Campbell said, he might, Josh Pascoe might not play next week. They're not, you know, he might not play. So it was a big might when he said Josh Pascoe. He might play next week. So I don't scoff at Jadavian Clowney. I mean, like, I'm not, and I don't really care for him like that, but I'm not. I, I will take anyone at this point. So keep an eye on players that have nothing wrong with them but are healthy scratches. Keep an eye on uh, – And that doesn't mean that if they play, they're not getting traded because they can play the next week. So let me know your thoughts on who you think could be on their way to the Detroit Lions and who would you like to 